Um, hello, everyone. This is your girl, Leanna, and this is my two months and a week on hormones video or a transition update. Um, I've been on hormones for two months and a week. Today is April the 24th. It's a Wednesday, and that's what makes it two months and a week. Um, it's 2013, and changes I've recently noticed, um, some of the biggest changes, of course, are chest pain, um, and when I mean chest, I mean breast, chest, breast. Um, I'm finally, I remember talking about, you know, the sensitivity not being there, like everyone else would talk about, hey, oh, my nipples are so sore, and they're so sensitive, and the boobs are hurting and aching, and that's a good thing. Well, I finally got there, and it took me two months, because it started happening yesterday. Um, or like, yeah, yes, two days ago it started happening and today it just, like, <laughs> so about, yeah, almost two months on a week. Um, so about in between two months and two months on a week. So I'm going to say about two months to get there. Um, a little bit prior to my two months on a week mark, I started getting the chest pains and I decided I needed to wear a freaking bra. Um, as you guys know, I was wearing that blue Adidas sports bra. I've been wearing that, <laughs> And apparently, I need more than a sports bra because my tits are, like, saggy. So, I decided... Today, I was complaining because I actually went out... Okay, let me fill you guys in on the spiels and things. So, let me... Okay, first and foremost, updates. Chest pains. Um, I'm not sure. The lighting in here kind of sucks. In my basement because everyone upstairs is like up there making noises and things and I want this to be the video to be about me and you know my Facebook uh, viewers Facebook YouTube viewers um so this is my face I always do a 360 angle now um one of the things I've also been told is that um I've been getting thinner around the jaw area so with that being said like that's giving me a more sleek, feminine shape. Um, um, I shaved today, so obviously it's not as thick as, you know, when I shave. Like, I usually make my videos in the morning, but right now it's already, pa it's like almost, I think it's 3 p.m.-ish. So, um, with that being said, I wore this shirt before. I'm sure you guys seen it. I think in my first or I don't know what video, but, um, or quite a few videos, I've worn this shirt before. And I'm we're actually wearing a bra, like a regular bra. It's not padded or anything. It's just a bra. And it actually fits me a bit tight. Um, and I was told about some extenders because I'm a wide girl. So, um, you know, the last time I went to Victoria's Secret, I was measured at uh, 38, 36, no, 38 to 40 B. And she said I might be able to fit a small C. But I needed to get extenders for the bra because I'm wider. And let me just show you guys. Okay, these are mine. And they look way different. Like, I'm wearing a regular bra. But you guys see what she, I see what she means. Like, I'm wider. And the bra feels like it's slicing into, like, my skin. So, I need to get extenders. Um, with that being said, um, I, did, I unpainted my nails. So, I'm, to, like, I'm trying to do something else. So, I'm... But I'm also job hunting um, because, as you guys know, I leave it for college soon. And I'm hitting up all these employment agencies because I'm going to need a job when I get down to college to be able to provide for myself. I don't want to depend on no one. Um, and so with that being said, I unpainted my nails. Um, so, yeah, definitely chest pains. Um, my beard is coming in less thick. It feels like... Um, my facial fat redistribution. I'm gonna give you guys a whole no, preview. I'm sorry, I'm in the basement, so. And these are mine. And these are mine. Like, they're much more noticeable now. Like, <laughs> I don't want to show too much. Um, 
so there. Um, so that's that. Um, and actually, I chose this bra. My mom had like a big stash of them. Because I told her, you know, I lost a sports bra. So I'm wearing like this. And as you guys can see, no padding. So it's just like green. I thought it would be cute because they know I was wearing green. Um, so those are the changes. My breasts have grown. And now the sensitivity has started occurring. I think it happens more in one boob than the other one. And my friends that are actual female said it could be normal. Um, because my left boob seems to be more sensitive than the right one. So I'm going to keep eye out on that. Um, um, let's see here. So my face. Um, the hairs. You guys see a little gray shadow right there? Those little baby hairs. Filling in the, um, the bald spots. Um, my hair, I haven't cut or anything. As you guys know, I'm growing it up. I might, um, it's already growing, like, the roots were all, I had this all black. Now the roots are, like, black. So I might dye that, um, this weekend. Or I might do something unique to it, um, because I want to look cute for when I go to school. I haven't done any shopping, and it's been really crazy. So, besides those updates, the physical updates, the emotional updates, <sighs> I get, I cry easier than I used to, um, I used to not cry for, like, when I have arguments and things, I wouldn't bawl my eyes out, or I, like, if I get really sentimental, like, I was telling a friend about a situation that happened, and, um, things like that, and then I started bawling tears, like, I was not bawling, but, like, my eyes started getting watery, like, I don't know, I get more sentimental, it, that's, that's how we should put it, um, but besides that, as you guys know, today is the 24th, since last Thursday, I'm actually running short on, um, pills again, so I'm, I'm actually gonna place the order, um, I've been doing sublingual, as everyone may know, so I think the sublingual has worked more efficiently and effectively for me, because, I feel like they've been doing their job. Um, and let me see what else, what else. Okay, so besides the physical and emotional changes, um, I feel like my face has definitely changed. Um, who's out there honking? Um, besides those, I feel like, okay, Thursday, <laughs> last Thursday of last week, you know, today's Wednesday, so Thursday of last week, I went out to Indianapolis um, with my mom to run some errands. So we had to go to the Mexican consulate and renew her passport and whatever and whatnot. And fr um, Friday night, last Friday night, it was 419, or April the 19th. And that Friday night, I, went, I actually went out to Fort Wayne with a friend, and I went out, you know, what was I wearing? I was wearing a little cute black dress, and I didn't get no guys, though, so I don't really mind. But then... 420, and if anyone knows anything about college parties, um, IU Bloomington, or Indiana University Bloomington, um, throws some of the craziest college parties on 420. So, we drove down there, it's a four-hour drive, and I drove down there, and one of my car, like, malfunctioned at, like, 30 minutes out of my city. I know, I live in South Bend, or near Notre Dame, um, and Bloomington is, like, a four-hour drive south, and four-hour north of here, four hours north of here is Canada, so... I'm right, that's where I stand, and like an hour and, an hour and 20 minutes is Chicago, an hour west, and then, um, well, anyways, that's where I stand, um, <clears throat> um, so, I drove down to Bloomington 420 with friends, and we went to this party, one of my friends got really wasted, um, I didn't really get to get wasted as I wanted to, um, and also I only had one thing to drink, it was like a mix of like lemonade, it wasn't pink panties, it was something else. But it was, you know, I'm on hormones, so I can't really do a lot of drinking anyways. Um, but we had a good time. And, you know, there was a, actually, ran, there was a situation where, um, oh yeah, when we went, when we got to the party, um, there was, it was two girlfriends or two female friends of mine and a guy friend that were in my car. That's who I went with. And we're going to, of course, like everybody from my city was going to be there. That party was huge. It was like a big Latin party where Latin... There was a mix, but, like, you know, Hispanics threw the party there on campus, <clears throat> and it was huge. It was, like, one of the biggest parties on the campus. It was popping. And they were charging $5 cover for girls and 15 for men. There were more men than girls there, which I found a good thing because, you know, no competition. 
but um, <laughs> we got there, and with the little resources I had, like, I didn't take clothes. I thought we were going to drive back that same night, so I didn't, you know, I just went, I was like, I'm going for comfort, so I took, like, jeans and a t-shirt, a graphic tee, which was stupid, um, and then my good thing, my, the guy friend that went with us, um, he had an extra outfit. He had, like, um, gray skinny jeans and, like, a polo classy hoodie. I mean, a hoodie, um, a v-neck sweater. So, like, I wore that. And then I let my hair down, and it has, like, a little curl when I let it down. And um, I straightened my bangs, and I did my makeup really cute. And so we went to a party, and my and the guy was like, so how many is there? My friend was like, um, we got VIP because there was, like, a long line. We um we got to the front, and the, my friend, the guy was like, how many is there? She was like, there's three girls. It was me, the two friends. So she was like, it's three girls and one guy. And so I got, I only had to pay $5. I had to pay women charge. But that's just like, it's been happening a lot recently. Like, they've been giving me, like, female charges. I've been getting charged as female, which I think is good because I think I'm looking more female. And when I go out, I wear makeup and things. And so... I think that was a good thing. And then after the party, um, we're actually at, at a stoplight. There was a stop sign and um, right by the campus, by Bloomington, by IU. Um, and a group of, like, jocks and, um, like, those, um, like, the college jocks was at the stop sign. And we were, like, waiting. We were all holding hands and waiting for, the you know, the our turn to cross the street to back to the car. And, like, some guys were, like, sticking their head out the car. And they were, like, hey, is that a guy or a girl? And I knew they were talking about me, and I didn't hesitate to say, since he gave me that attitude, I feel like I should give him a little attitude back. I was like, I'm a tranny. <laughs> and they were, he was like, really? What? You're one badass tranny. I said, you know I am bad. So I thought that was a good thing. He said I was pretty. And he was like, let me get your number, but I'm not sure. I'm sure he was playing around, but I was just playing, I was just playing around back. My friends and I were just cracking up. Um, and so they drove off, and... You know, going back to, that was, like, the highlight for me because everything else there, I didn't really dance with no guys at the party because I'm, like, 6'3". However, there was, like, guys, you know, where we locked, there was situations where I locked eyes with some guys, and, you know, and, but none of them actually came up and talked to me. And so, um, I mean, it was an overall good weekend, and I came back home, and, yeah, those are the things um, that's been going on. I'm still having trouble... Um, I'm still kind of shy of introducing myself as female, um, only because I don't, I haven't been shopping for that. Like I, I said in one of my videos, I haven't, I don't have a female wardrobe just yet, besides like when I go out, when I used to go out and drag and those were like little dresses and stuff. Um, so I feel like, um, for college I need to really update. I'm not going to take anything boyish unless I'm going to sleep in it, um, or unless I want to be comfortable. So I'm going to take like mostly PJs and you know, weekend wear, like, shorts, basketball shorts, and things for when I go running, um, you know, that are boyish, but other than that, like, everything else I want to be as girly as possible, when I go to class and things, um, I'm thinking about buying contacts also, and I'm gonna dye my hair differently, I'm, I go for a natural look, so I'm thinking about dyeing it all black, jet black, and we'll see where we end up with that, um, I know. or I'm thinking about, I'm bleaching the whole head, and then, and then dyeing it, like, yeah, just bleaching the whole head. I think that'd be pretty cute, too. But I'm dark, so I think it's going to make me more darker, especially in the summertime. I get really dark, so I don't want to go with that. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of partying. I actually had my wristband um, that said 420 um, upstairs, and I'm going to, like, say that as, like, a, you know, remembrance of that night. So I'm, like, really proud of, like, the girls. I know that... <laughs> And I showed you guys, these are, like, not padded at all. These are, like, really thin. So, and the straps, like, green. And these are actually, like, oh, and I have lick on tattoos <laughs> that I wore, like, a few days ago. And I don't know why I haven't washed them off. But they're, like, I wore them with a little dress. Um, and this is my bra. It's, like, stars. I think it's cute. Um, so, yeah, that's been the updates with me. It's two months and a week. And finally, I have the sensitivity in my boobs, which equals growth, I guess. Um, and they are growing, you know, everybody's like, oh, and I haven't been wearing a sports bra, so I think that's why. Um, so I'm gonna start wearing just regular bra and see where they go from there. I'm gonna have to go get extenders. So, two months in a week strong. Um, and once again, I might be off a few days. As you guys know, like, every time, I've been procrastinating a lot. And I've said it wasn't gonna happen again, 
and I have to order hormones again and probably be off of hormones for a week again. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And it's almost time for, I have like, probably like two more videos till I have to go for school. Cause it's like, what, 17, 16 days till leave date. And I'm excited to see what my room is going to be like. Um, we're just going to see what happens. So I'll see everyone later. Thanks for staying tuned in my videos and take care.